Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the MCQs on general microbiology and this is the 10th part of the series of 500 MCQs on microbiology. So let's start the question answer session on general microbiology with explanation. So the first question is uracil is present in DNA, RNA, both of the above or none of the above and the right answer is option b that is rna so uracil is present only in rna not in dna so here we can see the dna base the dna bases are guanine cytosine adenine and thymine and the complementary rna bases are cytosine guanine uracil and adenine okay so now next question is acquisition of penicillin resistance in staphylococci is due to mutation conjugation transduction transformation and the right answer is option c that is transduction so penicillin resistance uh, penicillin resistance comes from the through the transduction process okay and the transduction is a process by which the bacteria for the uh, dna of bacteriophage is entered or injected into the bacterial cell and in the next step the phage dna either incorporate it into the uh, bacterial DNA and go and form a prophage prophage and then go to the lysogenic phase or otherwise the phage DNA independently grow and go to the lytic phase and cell lysis done okay so this is the lytic and lysogenic phase of transduction process by which penicillin resistance occurred in Staphylococci. Okay, so next question is the highly specific antibiotic like substance produced by certain strain of bacteria and active against other strain of the same or different species are called bacteriocins, cytotoxin, endotoxin, or enterotoxin. And the right answer is option A that is bacteriotoxin. And this is the mode of action of bacteriotoxin. So most of the bacteriotoxins, sorry, bacteriocins uh, destroy the energy potential of the sensitive cells by forming membrane channel or membrane pores. So they form a membrane pore. So the best described mechanism is pore formation in the plasma membrane. So in this way, the bacteriocin, the bacteriocin cause the cell death, okay, to the other species. So move on to the next question that is vaccines are sterilized by in hot air oven or in autoclave or by sheets filter or by tindalization and the right answer is option C. So vaccines are sterilized by sheet filter filtration and here we can see this filter is also known as asbestos filter and it is made up of disc of asbestos which is known as magnesium trisilicate and fitted onto a sterile flask through silicon rubber bunk and fluid to be sterilized is plasted through the funnel so this is the equipment so next move on to the next question that is the vaccine for hydrophobia was discovered by louis pasteur robert scotch edward jenner or paul elrich and the right answer is option a that is louis pasteur so vaccine for hydrophobia or rabies, rabies disease that is the rabies vaccine was developed by Louis Pasteur. Okay, so move on to the next that is the father of vaccines is Louis Pasteur, Robert Scotch, Edward Jenner or Paul Ehrlich. And the right answer is option C. Edward Jenner is the father of vaccine. And Edward Jenner pioneered the concept of vaccine including creating the smallpox vaccine, the world's first vaccine. The term vaccine and vaccination are derived from variola vaccini that is the prostitutes of the cow. The term devised by Jenner to denote cowpox. Okay. So the next question is the phenomenon of phagocytosis was developed by Eli Matnikov, Matnikov and or Robert Scotch or Edward Jenner or Paul Eldridge. And the right answer is option A that is Eli Matnikov. And here is the process of phagocytosis by phagocyte. So this is the phagocyte and if a food particle or bacterial cell or out, uh, uh, any kind of pathogens come to the body, then they engulf this, engulf this food particle or bacteria like this. 
form of vacuole and they digest that particle into them okay so in this way this process is, is called the phagocytosis process and these are called phagocytes okay so move on to the next question that is collar and milstein got nobel prize for their work on outer membrane proteins hybridoma technology prions or hiv vaccine and the right answer is option b that is hybridoma te te technology and what is the hybridoma technology so for this at first we inject an antigen to a mice mouse and the mouse is immunized and then we collect or isolate the immune cells from this mice and then and this is the antibody forming cells that is the immune cell and then we uh, fuse this antibody producing cell with a tumor cell and produce this hybridoma so this hybridoma cell can continuously continuously produce the antibody okay so in this way they produce the same type of antibody that is called the monoclonal antibodies okay so this is the hybridoma technology and next one is susumu susumu tangwawa got nobel prize for his work on monoclonal antibodies hybridoma technology prions or hiv vaccine and the right answer is option c that is prions and the term prion means proteinaceous infectious particle prions are the infect infectious agent responsible for several neurodegenerative disease in mammals like creutzfeldt jakob disease and this happens due to the abnormal folding of the proteins in the brain so next question is flagella flagella of spirulum minus is monotricus peritricus lophotricus or amphitricus and the right answer is option c that is lophotricus and the lophotricus means <clears throat> multiple flagella are pr present at one side of the flagella one side of the bacterial cell multiple flagella are present in one side of the bacteria and the next question is flagella of pseudomonas species is monotricus peritricus lophotricus or amphitricus and the right answer is option d that is amphitricus so what is the amphitricus so amphitricus means <clears throat> in both side of the bacterial cell one only one flagella are present and in monotricus only one flagella is present in a body in a bacterial body bacterial cell okay and in peritricus the whole body contain the flagella so move on to the next question that is spores of clostridium perfringens is oval terminal oval subterminal spherical terminal or spherical subterminal the right answer is option c that is spherical terminal and here we can see this is the clostridium perfringens cell and here this one is the spherical terminal <coughs> spore okay spherical spore in the terminal region so next question is spore of clostridium septicum is oval subterminal drumstick appearance boat shaped or leaf shaped and the right answer is option c that is boat shaped and here we can see this is the spore which is boat shaped and next one is pseudomonas aeruginosa is mesophilic psychrophilic thermophilic or zoospilic and the right answer is option b that is psychrophilic and what is psychrophilic psychrophiles or cryophiles are extremophilic organisms that are capable of growth and reproduction in cold temperature ranging from minus 20 degrees celsius to 10 degrees celsius mostly uh, in 5 degrees celsius plus 5 degrees celsius mostly sacrifice or grow grown and psychrotrops means psychrotropic bacteria are bacteria that are capable of surviving or even thriving in extremely cold condition in minus temperature and next question is Escherichia coli is mesophilic psychrophilic thermophilic or zoospilic and the right answer is option a that is mesophilic and here we can see the psychrophilic means grow well at 0 degree and has an optimum growth temperature of 15 degree or lower and psychrotrop means can grow on 0 to 7 degree celsius has an optimum between 20 to 30 degrees celsius and a maximum around 35 degrees celsius mesophiles means has grow optimum around 20 to 45 degrees celsius and therm thermophiles means can grow at 55 degrees celsius or higher and optimum 
optimum between 55 to 65 degrees Celsius and hyper thermophiles are has an optimum between 80 degrees Celsius and about 113 degrees Celsius and these are some examples of the respective microorganisms. So move on to the next question that is an example of capnophilic bacterium is Staphylococcus, Neisseria gonorrhoeae, Escherichia coli, Klebsiella pneumoniae and the right answer is option B that is Neisseria gonorrhoeae and here this capnophilic bacteria which which require higher amount of CO2 for their growth that is 5 to 10 percent CO2 and 15 percent O2 are required for their growth that that organisms are called capnophilic bacteria example hemo, uh, Haemophilus uh, influenzae and Brucella abortis abortius okay and the next one is enrichment medium for shigella species is alkaline pepton water tetrathionate broth gram negative broth or none of the above and the right answer is the option c that is gram negative broth is required for the enrichment as a, used as a enrichment medium for shigella and this gram negative broth was developed by Hasna as an enrichment medium for the recovery of Salmonella and Shigella from clinical and non-clinical specimen. Okay, so move on to the next question that is enrichment medium for Salmonella is selenite F broth, tetrathionate broth, gram negative broth or all of the above and the right answer is option D that is all of above that means this all are used as an enrichment medium for Salmonella. And next one is alkaline pepton water is enriched medium, enrichment medium or selective medium or transport medium and the right answer is option B that is alkaline pepton water is used as enrichment medium. Okay and next one so here we can see the enrichment medium if what is enrichment medium if the sample contain more than one type of bacteria desired undesired bacteria growth can be reduced or eliminated okay if the sample contain more than one type of bacteria undesired bacterial growth can be reduced or eliminated by this enrichment medium okay and the desired organism is facilitated to grow and examples are tetrathionate broth selenite f broth okay so move on to the next question that is bile salt agar is enriched medium or enrichment medium or selective medium or transport medium and the right answer is option c that is selective medium and the selective selective media allow certain types of organisms to grow and inhibit the growth of other organisms the selective the selectivity is accomplished in several ways for example organisms that can utilize a given sugar are easily screened by making that sugar the only carbon source in the medium okay so these are the selective media and the next one is Loeffler serum slope is enriched medium or enrichment medium or selective medium or transport medium and the right answer is option A that is enriched medium okay and this enriched medium means supplemented with highly nutritious materials such as blood serum or yeast extract for the cultivation or plus cultivation of fastidious organisms okay so Next one is the temperature of hot air oven is 100 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Celsius and the right answer is option D that is 160 degrees Celsius and the next one is indole is produced by Salmonella typhi, Proteus vulgaris, Enterobacter ero erogens or Klebsiella pneumoniae and the right answer is option B that is Proteus vulgaris. So Proteus vulgaris produce indole and what is the indole test so the organism is inoculated in pepton water and after incubation at 37 degrees celsius for 24 hour then we you, we add covax reagent to the solution so if a pink ring is produced then the organism is indole positive like example estrechia coli like this this is the positive culture so if the yellow ring is produced the organism is indole negative like Klebsiella like this this is the negative indole test okay so move on to the next question that is mutational drug resistance has low degree of resistance is chromosomally mediated is prevented by combination of drugs or is all of the above and the right answer is option D that is is all of the above and here this is the bacteria and if a mutation in DNA is occurred then the some mutation make the bacteria bacterium drug drug resistance 
bacterial drug resistance and drug resistant bacteria then multiply and survive in this way so the last question is sugar sugar containing media are sterilized by autoclaving inspiration tindalization or none of the above and the right answer is option c that is tindalization so sugar containing media is sterilized by tindalization process and this tindalization process is also known as intermittent sterilization or continuous sterilization that is used for the media it is used for media with sugars or gelatin which require 100 degrees celsius for 20 minutes on three successive days and exposure kill all vegetative bacteria and spores since they are in favoring media with germinate to be killed in subsequent occasions and may fail to destroy thermophiles and certain anaerobic spores okay so these are the all questions on general microbiology okay thank you for watching this video